Let's picture a stack of plates in a buffet restaurant. Everyone in the line grabs the topmost plate and whenever they bring new plates, they stack it on top or make new stacks. Whenever a plate is added or removed, it is always from the top. It is the latest or the newest plate in the stack. The stack data structure behaves the same way. It implements the LIFO principle, last in, first out. Whenever you write element to a stack, you are pushing to a stack. Whenever you are reading element from a stack, you are popping from a stack. You can also peek or peep the stack, which is pretty much checking which item is at the top or end of the stack. Most implementation allows you to get the size, be able to clear, print, and even set a max size for the stack. The stack data structure is also considered to be an abstract data type, which means that it is defined by these operations and values at the high level rather than in memory itself. Your app router is an example of stack of paths you visited. Whenever your code editor tells you you are missing a closing parenthesis on line 13, it's probably using a stack to track all your parentheses for your code. Whenever you control Z, you may be popping from a stack of save track changes or progress, etc. Whenever you don't know the full length of the data you're dealing with and you are always interacting or acting upon the latest one added, it is a sign you have or need to implement a stack. If you want to know how stacks can be implemented or how it compares to other similar list types like array, please check this channel or links in the description. Please leave your questions in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.